Today I want to tell you about a presentation that we had last week, Missing in Argentina Music and my dear friends from the Argentina dance group El Fogón. My name is Argelina, I'm a vocal coach, a singer-songwriter, I teach in Auckland, New Zealand and online all over the world. As I mentioned in other videos, I am from Argentina, I live in New Zealand currently, but I am from Argentina, I lived there for 25 years. I am a migrant and that is a very special life <laughs> to have. And when you're a migrant, you kind of become a little bit flagless, I think, because you are never fully from where you go to, but also the, the culture you're from, it starts being a little bit less tangible. You start wondering what it really means to be Argentinian. Since you are not there anymore, you have to like resignify what it means to be from there. Like, I'm a proud Argentinian, and one of the things I am most proud of is our music. And I really like to share it with people from here, because everywhere I go that is not Argentina, people think that Argentinian music is tango, and that's it. Well, no. Tango is actually from Buenos Aires one city in Argentina. In the whole rest of the country, which is quite giant, there is a giant lot of amazing music and most people never get to know it. This is important to understand if you are interested at all in Argentinian music. Tango is music that was developed with one of the biggest immigrations at the latest part of the 19th century in the beginning of the 20th century. And that specifically happened in, in Buenos Aires in a very particular situation but in the whole rest of the country the stories are very different and they are very beautiful as well so anyway we went to present some of our music and dances as, as a migrant to me i'm not sure how the other people felt but for me it's always very moving and necessary to share some of my culture, some, some of what I came from. And it's specifically true for me because a lot of people in Argentina like folklore, sing folklore. Folklore is the, the genre of music that I sang. For me, I grew up with that. Even though I don't prefer to limit myself to a flag, the music, I do consider it a very important part of my identity. I do believe that the music you listen to, the rhythms you listen to or choose to listen to as well, I do believe that they shape your brain. <laughs> so it was important. And within the genre of folklore, there are a lot of subgenres. Like, there is so much wealth of music in Argentina, you can't even imagine. In this case, I perform three different subgenres Huesha, which is more from the Pampas, and then Samba, Argentinian Samba, which is with Z, not Samba with S like Brazil, it's very different, and uh, Gato. Now, one important thing from Argentinian folklore music, not all the music, but a lot of the music is not complete without the dance. It's kind of a, a synergy, it's a, it's a marriage between the music and the dance. So basically, every subgenre has their dances and they have a basic form of the dance, but within the dance there is a lot of improvisation and you can do them differently every time. I'm not sure in other countries, but in Argentina, folklore is not something old and dead. It's new, it's something alive, it has movement. In Argentina there are a lot of places that are called peñas, and you can go there and there is live music, or folklore live music, and people just go and dance until like 7, 8 in the morning and it's super, super, super fun. As I say, it is alive. So if you see a presentation like this, a cultural event, the dances are, of course, pre-arranged and the people dress in a more of a traditional way. If you go to a peña in Argentina, you're going to see that people, of course, go with their normal clothes and they dance. And the one thing I really like is that they dance as they are. When people dance in a traditional way, as a cultural way to show our traditional dances, always the woman he kind of has to pretend that he's shy and it's always this dance of the man being chased and the woman being chased. But in real life, of course, things have evolved and changed a lot. And I do believe Argentinian folklore, if you go to places where it is alive, you are not going to see women covering themselves the face and things like that. You're going to see that you, you can see the true personalities of people being expressed through the dance and it's very beautiful. If you take a look at the different towns and countries in the world, you're going to see so much wealth of music in ways that you can't even imagine. I always observe that from any subgenre of music, you get music skills that you didn't have 
access to before. Some artists really play around this. For example, Jeff Buckley was a singer that took elements from world music from other parts, of course, and applied it to his own music, which is a very smart way to do it. I think that is great. It's, that it's great. It, it really opens your possibilities. And also, most importantly, it opens the possibilities for other possibilities that might not be there yet. It say that everything is done in music. I don't believe so because every time that I meet a new culture, I meet new ways of doing music, even if they are subtle. I will encourage anyone to go a little bit deeper into their own music. You know, if you were lucky enough to be close to a culture where there is specific music around, there are a lot of things you can learn from it, like voice inflections, vocal harmonies, music harmonies with harmonies, uh, rhythm patterns, different phrasings. There's so much wealth of music there. Specifically for Argentinian music, I did learn a lot of skills from it, which I am very happy about. The first one is rhythm. So Argentinian music has a, a lot of variety of rhythms, but one of the most weird ones is that a lot of the Argentinian music is composed in two different uh, time signatures at the same time. So uh, six, eight and three, four at the same time. I'm going to show you a little bit of what that means. So for example, Argentinian sambas and chacareras, they are usually composed in six, eight and three, four simultaneously. Having those two time signatures simultaneously, it gives you very deep wealth of rhythm, but also it gives you the possibility to enrich your vocal phrasing a lot if you are singing like me. So I want to show you a little bit of that. Now, this thing I have here is an Argentinian drum and we call it bombo. So hopefully you can see it there. Usually you grab it like this, you lift a little bit, but it might be a little bit, a little bit boxy, we're gonna see. So um, this is the rhythm of Chacarera, for example. And if you can sing on top of that, that really, really helps you work on your rhythm scales. Para que quiero vivir con el corazón deshecho. Para que quiero la vida después de lo que me has hecho. So in this case, for example, I am marking the three, four with the parche, we call it. So the lower sounds are here. And I'm marking the six, eight here. So this is marking the quarter notes of a three, four. And here I'm marking the six eight. I'm marking the beat of the six eight. One two three two two three. One two three two two three. If I put them together, they coincide in the first beat of the bar, of course. One two three two two three. One two three two two three. And here one two three one two three. Anyway, it's usually quite hard to sing on top, but I was brought up with that music. So for me, it's kind of natural. I have it in the body. Also, you probably were exposed to some music in your childhood. And if you take a look at that, you can see these things that are kind of natural. The things that are natural to us because we were brought up with them. Sometimes I feel that we don't really like appreciate them because they are so natural to us. So embedded in our whole being, in our whole culture, we kind of take them for granted and they can be really good things. In this case, it, it does really give me the possibility to enrich my phrasing, not only in Argentinian music, but also in any song that I have. For example, that song that I was singing, I could switch between three, four and six, eight in my phrasing. I could do, for example, Para que quiero vivir con el corazón deshecho. Or I could do, Para que quiero vivir Con el corazón deshecho Para que quiero la vida Después de lo que me has hecho Or I could just flow freely through those time signatures Para que quiero vivir Con el corazón deshecho Para que quiero la vida Después de lo que me has hecho Anyway, that's a tiny, tiny demonstration. If you want to see masters of phrasing, you can go check Argentinian singers. They are really good at that. And of course, you're not actually thinking about six, eight, three, four, like kind of in your body. You don't have to think about it. Otherwise, it'll be really hard. So the second thing that Argentinian music has given me is a sound color. Argentinian music is quite like earthy. In fact, a lot of the 
the music it, it is about a physical place just being grounded in simple things of, of life if we talk about vocal technique there is a big element of a voice that, that has a lot of mass so in vocal technique of course you have the chest voice or, or mass dominant register in which the the vocal muscle is more involved and then you have the tension dominant register in which there is less vocal muscle involved and more city or not a muscle that is outside the vocal cords. So your mass, your vocal muscle is your safety. Argentinian music has a lot of that in a lot of singers. Even when you sing frequencies that are a little bit higher, the, that mass sensation is still present. I think that has given me in my own voice the possibility to train lower frequencies. It like, does give you a, a tone that is quite characteristic and goes always in personal taste but I really like it and especially I feel it as home which is very important when you sing and and we are looking for your sound now of course that sound you translate it to any genre that you do and ideally you use it as a tool that you choose to use not as a default and ideally you can switch to other sounds as well there is one more thing that Argentinian music gave me and is the way I feel the lyrics of a music of songs song. Argentinian folklore if you look at the lyrics they are usually very deeply felt they are they are deep lyrics full of emotion uh, there's a lot of poetry of course it's a little bit hard to transmit this from another language but if you do know Spanish I recommend you to take a look at some masterpieces of Argentinian folklore such as Alfonsina y el Mar, Samba del Ángel, Samba y Acuarela, Mujer, Niña y Amiga. So one of the things that the Argentinian music gave me is the ability to deeply feel lyrics, stories. I, that is something that I can transmit to other genres as well. It's a little bit hard if you just train yourself from commercial music because a lot of times the lyrics are written in formulas to sell. And so that's why a lot of them, they don't really feel so genuine. And a lot of them are not. And some of them are. And I think you can tell the difference right away because of the way they feel in your body when something is genuine or not, you can tell. Argentinian music also gives you a different way of feeling. I always feel that if you sing a tango, for example, also from Argentina, you feel your your connection to the songs or to the interpretation, it comes from another place because, you know, they are written with with passion and with some darkness as well, some big nostalgia energy. Argentinian folklore, it's different, it's not better or worse, but it comes from, from a calmer space as well. So I guess that is something you can also get from every different language and helps you to feel things from sort of another it's also, I'm not sure if another part of your brain or another perspective, another energy. Certainly the way the Argentinian music is, is composed involves the language, the dialect, the place it was composed to, the, the instruments that they were going to be played, the phrasing, the rhythm. So many things shape the emotion and the energy of a song. If you are from another country and you also have world music, I would also love to know what your music gave to you. And if you have any suggestions that you would like me to hear from your country, let me know. I will listen to it. So that is what Argentinian music gave me. And hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.